in this review, those people that had that condition were twice as deficient in vitamin D as the rest of the group. You see, vitamin D helps in the absorption of calcium. And this calcium is dislodged in the lymphatic uh, little tubes in the inner ear. So obviously it didn't get absorbed. So we have a more concentrated calcium uh, in that area. And chances are this is due to a vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D also helps in the transportation of calcium as well. In another study, I found there was a 5.5 times more likely risk of developing BPPV. And yet another study, I found that BPPV was substantially decreased if the person took more vitamin D. Now, in another study, I found BPPV was 23 times more likely to occur if someone was deficient in vitamin D. 23 times, that's crazy. So apparently vitamin D is the answer for this condition. I will say there were some studies that did not show that this condition had any problem with vitamin D deficiency in the blood. And honestly, I think the reason for that is this. Um, there is a genetic component to this problem. Many, many people have a problem with uh, the vitamin D receptor. Now, a person could have a situation where they have normal vitamin D in the blood, but not in the tissues because the receptor is downgraded because of some genetic mutation. 